Right, the People's National Movement is tonight mourning the loss of its one of its own. Minister of Energy and Energy Industries Franklin Kahn passed away at his home on Saturday morning. More in this report from Terry Ann Brown Campbell. Franklin Kahn, former chairman of the People's National Movement, passed away on Saturday morning at the age of 62. Born in Guagayari on June 18, 1957, Minister Khan first entered politics in 2002 when he successfully contested the general elections for the Ottawa Mayaro seat against Winston Gypsy Peters. He served as the Member of Parliament for the area from 2002 to 2007. In government, under the Patrick Manning administration, he served as Minister of Works and Transport from 2002 to 2005. In the year 2015, Mr. Khan was appointed as the Minister of Rural Development and Local Government under the Keith Rowley administration. And in 2016, he was appointed as the Minister of Energy and Energy Industries, a position that he held until his passing after being reappointed to the position in August 2020. Minister Khan held a Bachelor of Science degree in Geology and Geography that he earned in 1980 from the UE Mona campus and an MBA that he achieved in 2007 from the Arthur Lockjack Graduate School of Business. Minister Khan leaves to mourn his wife, Laura, and two children, Cara and Kara. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News. And on the heels of news of the passing of the Energy Minister, tributes celebrating the life and work of Mr. Khan came in from Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley and a number of his cabinet colleagues. Once again, Terry Ann Campbell tells us more. Franklin Khan served almost 20 years as a politician in Trinidad and Tobago. Known for his smiling face and pleasant personality, condolences on his passing poured in from his cabinet and parliamentary colleagues. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley described him as a colleague and a friend who had dedicated his life to public service. While Minister of Communications in the office of the Prime Minister, Simon de Nobrega, said of Mr. Khan, if a hero is a person who has given his life to something greater than himself, then he was a hero in every way. Minister of National Security Stuart Young, shortly after receiving his first dose of his COVID-19 vaccine on Saturday, also took a moment to reflect on Mr. Khan's life. A very close colleague of mine, someone that in the past few years I have worked very closely with, been learning a lot from. Um, before coming here, I, I was up with his family and uh, take the opportunity as a colleague of his and as someone who had a great deal of respect for him to ex extend my um, condolences to his family and our sympathy to them, a man who gave great service to Trinidad and Tobago. Minister of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Clarence Rambarat, while offering his sympathies, stated, I always considered Mr. Khan to be our conscience, a true country boy a true oil and gas man, and the one whose praise or buff you took in the knowledge that it was genuine. Also extending condolences to Mr. Khan's family was opposition leader Kamala Prasad Vesesa, who said she was also saddened to learn of Mr. Khan's passing. She said Mr. Khan dedicated much of his life in service to his country, and his contributions over a period of almost two decades as a member of parliament a Minister of Government in varying capacities in two PNM administrations and as a Senator are laudable. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTD News. And Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly, Ansel Dennis, joined with the rest of the nation in mourning the passing of the Energy Minister. Chief Secretary Dennis said Minister Khan was not simply a politician, but a man who spent most of his life contributing to the progress and development of Trinidad and Tobago using his expertise and skills garnered from being a graduate of geology and geography of the University of the West Indies and a petroleum geologist by profession. Our deepest condolences go out to the family, friends and colleagues of Energy Minister Franklin Khan. 